Hi everyone, Zen Within Me here. I'm so excited to share my oracle cards with you. I finally got them in. Okay, so I told you I was going to do a showcase video, so here we have it. All right, initials, traits, and features oracle cards by Zen Within Me. All right, so let's start off first with some of the letters. These cards give you initials of people or letters to describe a person, place, or thing that connects you to your person or situation. They can also give you timing, such as days of the week, month, or numbers, okay, as you've seen me use them in my readings. Traits and features are self-explanatory. These oracle cards are not just for love, but for anything in your life where you will need specific details about a person or situation. Purchase info is down below in the description box. Check out my YouTube channel, Zen Within Me, for free weekly readings. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, peace and love, guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising, but before I get into your reading, I just have a quick announcement. I'm doing an October 2020 giveaway for you guys, and all you have to do to participate in the giveaway is make a $5 donation to the channel, and that info is down below in the description box. Okay, so one of the lucky winners will get the choice of one of the following. A $50 gift card of your choice to any store such as um, Walmart, Amazon, Target, Kohl's, so on and so forth. A $50 soulmate reading with me or a $70 three question uh, love reading with me. All right, so just donate $5. You'll be put into the drawing and on November 1st, I will be putting up that announcement post on my community tab on my channel. So good luck to everybody that participates. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages. For Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. Okay, what messages do we have for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time regarding their love life? What love messages do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, what does Sagittarius need to know at this time, please? And thank you. Ooh, okay. All right. Let's see. Okay, Sagittarius. All right, so we are starting off here with judgment. So with judgment here, this is some kind of karma, rebirth in your favor, and enlightenment, some kind of uh, spiritual awakening. Let's see. Could be things from the past coming back. Now we have the high priestess here. So I'm feeling that secrets from the past are going to be coming back. Things that you weren't aware of in the past are now going to be revealed to you, okay? And with the Seven of Swords here, this is somebody that um, was sneaky. Somebody that was maybe sneaking around behind your back, doing something shady, okay? If somebody took something from you, this is all is going to be, all is going to be revealed, okay? For sure, okay? And then we have the Lovers here, so... Okay, so if somebody was doing something in the past, I'm getting here, if somebody maybe hooked up with somebody else, if somebody cheated, um, wasn't honest about a previous relationship perhaps, or maybe they didn't cheat, just maybe when you asked them about a previous relationship, they may have lied. You know, like if they're friends with an ex, for example, they told you, um, no, you know, we were never together, we've always just been friends. So they may have lied about that, and now that's coming, coming back to bite them in the ass, all right? So anything sneaky, underhanded, anything that was in that nature that has been a secret is now going to come back, but it's going to come back in your favor. Like there's a reason why this is going to be revealed to you now, okay? This is something that you need to know that even though it might be crappy to know, it's meant to benefit you and help your, your life along this journey. So if you're with someone you're not meant to be with, this information is coming out so that you will not be with them so you can be with the person you're meant to be with, okay? Now, love doesn't always have to be a romantic reading. So this could also be friend or family, coworker, something of that nature. So if there's anybody that did you dirty, the secret's going to come out, okay? Now, this can also be a choice. So Be careful because you may actually have a choice to do something sneaky here also. But keep in mind your karma, okay? 
Everything gets revealed in the end. So if this is not something that somebody did to you, this may be an opportunity that you have to do something here. So whatever it is, just, you know, cuidado. Karma, okay? All right. So let's see, Sagittarius. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius regarding their love life? What else does Sagittarius need to know regarding their love life? What love messages do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, I just had to check my camera. I had some technical difficulties of reading before. <laughs> okay, Sagittarius, what's going on in your love life? What love messages do we have for Sagittarius regarding this reading? Okay, what else does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, so very interesting here. We got not enough. See, what did I say? Frustrated in a relationship, lacking confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. So there's definitely something going on here in a relationship that's not copacetic. Somebody is feeling that things aren't right. Okay, they're feeling frustrated, lacking confidence. Somebody might be sabotaging. Like if you have the opportunity to go in and do something that you shouldn't be doing, you might be doing something self-sabotage here. Maybe, you know, if you're in a relationship with someone and you are happy, you feel it's too good to be true or you don't deserve it. You know, who knows how and why the mind thinks the way it does at times. We all have our own insecurities. Okay, and then we have palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Okay. So for those of you that are going to have this negative information revealed, it is meant to help you grow. Like I said before, you need more stability and security in your life and the relationship that you're in right now may not be giving you that. And this news is coming forward to you to help you grow. Okay. All right. So now let's see. We're going to go to my Oracle deck. Ta -da! All right. Let's see. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius? Can you give us the details of who is Sagittarius dealing with? Who is Sagittarius dealing with? Or if there was somebody else involved here, give us some details of that person. Initials, letters, traits, and features. Okay, please give us some details of who Sagittarius is dealing with. Okay, who is Sagittarius dealing with? Please give us as many details as possible. For my darling Sagittarius's last shuffle. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have here ears. Okay, so what I'm getting with this, yes, there could be something distinct about their ears but I'm, I'm getting here more somebody is listening there's eavesdropping somebody has an ear out okay because with sneaky here it could just be somebody's listening spying they got their ear out if this is something to do at work like somebody's listening they're sneaking around because they they might be trying to get you in trouble with something um but or someone's just listening okay and with eyes. Now, this person, it could be something about their eyes, their eye color, the shape, the eyelashes, makeup, if it's a female, um, anything of that nature. But I'm also getting somebody is watching. So you have somebody listening, somebody is watching, okay? And then with mouth here, I'm getting talking. Somebody's talking. So it's like there's definitely people listening, watching, and talking, Okay. If this resonates with you, you know what I mean. If it has nothing to do with listening, um, watching, or talking, then these are just features of this person that you're dealing with, okay? This could be somebody coming back from your past that, you know, they were shady in the past, and now, you know, you have this choice to decide if you want to take them back or not. You know, things coming back from the past, unknown things, sneaky things that this person did may be revealed to you, you know, however it resonates with you. Okay. Then we have hair. So there's something about this person's hair. It could be the length, the style, the color. Okay, then this person is affectionate. Funny. Okay. 
and fashionable. Okay. All right, so let's get some more messages here. What's going on with Sagittarius? All right, so there's a lot of different messages coming through here, guys. So just make sure you only pay attention to what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, then uh, check out my playlist for last week's readings and see if you can find a title that actually resonates with you. Okay, so what messages do we have for Sagittarius regarding their love life at this time? What else does Sagittarius need to know regarding their love life? Last shuffle. Any other messages for Sagittarius? Okay, thank you. All right, so we have Saturn. The part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. You see that? Okay, so you definitely have this wisdom that's coming in here. It's been a challenge, but you're definitely going to get that information. All will, re all will be revealed. Okay, then we have Mars. Your physical energy drives strength and fighting spirit. And the ninth house. Broadening your horizons, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to the Moonology deck and see if we can get some more details for you guys. Okay, what other messages do we have for Sagittarius regarding their love life? What other messages do you have for Sagittarius? All right, thank you. All right, so we have here Fiery Climax Approaches, Full Moon in Aries. More fire energy. Okay, look up full moon in Aries 2020 and 2021. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. All right, so you might be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Step out of your comfort zone. North node. And the last one is work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So a lot of this, you may also be dealing with the Scorpio. So we have two new moons here. So that's the dominant moon phase. Um, so you've got Scorpio, Taurus, and Aries. If it's not those signs, that's fine. You can just look up to see when is, uh, if you're interested in timing, you can look up new moon in Scorpio, new moon in Taurus, full moon in Aries, or it may just be new moon or full moon. Uh, check to see when those cycles are based on when you watch this because it is a timeless reading. Um, you have an option here, okay? Um, so clearly you guys have this, this secret that's going to be revealed, this information that's going to come towards you, whether it's um, something from the past, karma coming back. Um, it will be a rebirth in your favor. This is meant to come out to help you. Just keep, keep that in mind. So step out of your comfort zone, Work through your fears if the decision that you need to make is to walk away, okay? Remember, prosperity lies ahead for you, okay? You have to um, work through this frustration that you have, okay? Work through this lack of confidence that you have okay so like it says step out of your comfort zone work through your fears if you see or if you're seeking stability and security you need this to grow okay all right so those are your messages Sagittarius thank you so much for liking sharing watching and subscribing check the links uh, down below in the description box peace and love good luck if you participate in the giveaway and I will see you in the next reading